In this section of the video, we're going to talk about the Crimson AV security camera mounts. Um, I'm a long time installer of cameras, and I like this product because it's really easy to install. Uh, some basic standard things. Um, the RW12 standard dome camera comes like in a box. We protect all the threads, so you're never going to get it where it's nicked or hard to thread on. It's a standard inch and a half MPT thread. It should go on most cameras. 100% aluminum, all black powder coated, so you're not going to have any issues with rusting in the future. The nice thing about this product is we put a little threaded three quarter inch conduit knock out there so you can take the seal tight and go right into it. It's already threaded for you. If you're mounting flat to the wall, trying to feed the wires through, unless you have a nipple into the building, it's kind of difficult to come out of your box and take your seal tight right to the side. If you don't use it, it comes with a rubber grommet to cover it up. On a corner mount application, we have the RW90 to mount to the corner of the wall. The RW12 comes nice to the corner of that. With the corner mount, we give you a stainless steel hardware that fits it right in, threads it up. And a pole mount application, again, it fits on the RP12, which goes onto a pole. We include the bandits, stainless steel hardware, so it screws in. You have to use a standard banded tool to stretch the band and secure it to the pole. In the camera application, uh, structurally supporting a camera from the ceiling, mounting it, it has a three quarter inch knockout in it, threaded knockout. You can use it to hang camera devices with, you, with uh, Crimson's extension poles. All the poles come with the threads oiled and uh, protected. So you can, hang, you can mount a camera from a ceiling structurally using a secure mount and pole to extend it. When mounting a camera from a high ceiling using this box, you can use a number of crimson pole mounts to extend it down. Typically in retail, by the cash registers, you got to go down quite a distance. Crimson has a number of different lengths of poles and couplers to make the poles different, different lengths. None of their pipes, threads, are, cup, are tapered so that when you use a coupler, threads go all the way up, you don't have any exposed steel, and it looks nice and smooth when the longer pipes are connected together. In this section of the video, we're going to talk about the heavy-duty parapet wall camera mount amp mounts from Crimson. Um, here we have an RF24 roof mount parapet that mounts on the, on the top of a roof in the corner so that the camera would mount over the top. We use a standard pole that fits in, that could be swung back for service, mounted at 45, 90, and 45. Has a standard inch and a half MPT mount on, so it goes on most camera dome applications. The roof mount is all aluminum. Very light, very easy to haul up there, very easy to work with. Black, uh, powder coated, so you won't have any rust issues, unlike the steel products. You mount it up there in whichever corner. Fit these in. Install the camera. On the base, we have a grommet that is threaded for a standard three quarter inch conduit so that from the electrical box wherever you have it mounted you run your seal tight in and feed, it, feed the wires over to your camera. It comes with standard stainless steel hardware to lock it in. If in another application you needed to extend it higher, the REX20 fits in 
to get it over a higher wall. You're not going to mount on a roof, but rather on the inside of a parapet, on the outside corner of a wall. The RW24 uses the same hardware, mounted. the stainless arm. It'll be swung back in for service, It'll be out at 90, 45 and 90, all preset holes for screwing in here. And for extension applications you can use the RX REX20 to extend it higher. This also has a rubber grommet that you can take out thread your three quarters inch seal tight in here and route your cables into the mount onto the camera domes.